So pretty much all the winter houses, well, the, and the snow, with the exception of this side, I have to do that next, I guess. My wife has really put a lot of time and effort into this part, you know, with the houses and the lighting. You can see how all the houses were lighted, and these were all with those remote clicker switches like we just finished putting on the bears. One of the things I want to do is cut all those to fit, you know, so they're not stuck up like that. But um, that requires commitment to make those changes. But when you go through a wholesale change like this, here's one piece of advice. Leave at least one tract in, intact. So like when you go get something at the auction, like tomorrow, you have a place to run it and test it. And the other thing is while you have things all ripped apart, this is a great time to clean that track. There's so much oil and grease on that because this gets a lot of run time. You get retired like I do. There's plenty of times just to come up here and just let them go in circles, and I do. So here, you can get some idea of how some of this is stuck together. Well, lots of transition going on right here. Going to tear apart part of the layout and bring it back to summer configuration. You'll see that we have all the lighting and stuff from the winter configuration. Don't know how much of that we're going to use. Um, kind of kicking that around. But anyway, today I went to another one of those Olin auctions and spent 20 of it was a bunch of scenery and a couple of buildings and uh, those like ramp style log loaders and coal car unloaders and things like that uh, they'll show up later in the video season sometime and I'll focus on the rolling stock and uh, got a bunch of fast track straight sections and curves too in that mix First is this Railway Express Agency refrigerator car, Lionel, and it has a little higher detail, little springs. It looks closer to O gauge than uh, their older stuff. It came in a box. I bit it up a little bit because I wanted it. I wanted at least one O gauge. Uh, box car because we've been talking about scale and they needed one. One of these, and this goes with that ramp where it has a couple of magnets where it opens up and dumps the coal out the bottom. And this is a Norfolk and Western, right? That's a nice car. A very complete Lionel milk car this is again a Lionel uh, more like a no scale coal car coal hopper with a load another one of these another one of these yet another one they all need a little oil and then got this little box car. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's a true 027. These are that sort of semi scale. And these, these are the last ones. This is, says Santa Fe. I find interesting is these have got die cast trucks. But that one says Lionel lines, even though it's the same shell. That one says Santa Fe too. So th those three cars, right, they're not bad. And uh, I don't know if the lights work, probably not. They don't look like they have a terrible amount of time. But, uh, you know, God only knows how old they are. Got to be from the hooks. They got to be, I don't know. I don't know if that's MPC or before. 
I'll have to go look. I don't know these cars. They just kind of came in the pile. I didn't really want them. I don't really have a reason to to chase the Santa Fe cars, although I have a few Alco FAs in Santa Fe. Maybe that's what I'll do with these is pull them around with an Alco. But I've been using these to make my long trains, right? And I've been using cars like this right here to sort of blend the larger locomotives with the smaller hoppers. So. Oh yeah, we got that. It's not going to run, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Well, it came in a pile. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cars. Eleven, if you include that. And then the piece of junk. And then another little car. Yeah, both these cars right here, these later generation Lionels. Um, I'm assuming mid-90s. Sometimes they have a stamp on them, we can see. Built 1996. But those are die cast trucks. Little springs for detail. Now the rest is plastic. They've got a little weight to them. So, so far I'm favorably impressed. Let's see what this one says for a tag. If it's got one, I can't read it. But this one too has a die cast trucks. At least it appears to. And uh, little springs. Good level of detail. I don't care if it be die cast or not. I don't really care. Some people that would matter to them. Got a load. For once, I'm not the load. So. Let me just run them around the track once and just see how they play. And I think what would be appropriate is to run the Santa Fe cars with a Santa Fe Alco once we get around. Let's do that. So we can run these new to the layout cars. Okay, well that's kind of interesting. I think the box car 
matches up better with that locomotive. But the scale is closer. And these are kind of like in between true O and, uh, you know, somewhere that semi scale. I think that works pretty good. So I'll pr probably end up with more of those for this locomotive. Well, they work out pretty good, don't they? Those little passenger cars, you know. I put a little bit of three in one oil on all their uh, wheels and axles and stuff. And uh, they roll much better now. Now, I don't know whether or not Lionel had a set where they mixed Santa Fe label passenger cars with Lionel lines. I don't know. That's something I'm going to have to research, I guess. And uh, maybe at the shows, I'll pick up a couple of these cars and make a full train. But I think they match up well with the 027 Alco, so I think they're going to find a home here. They're not going to go out the door again. When I first got them, they were kind of in a lot. I was thinking about just tossing them. But these I was looking for in particular. I just wanted to see how they scale up with the Williams O scale. And they're all right. When I look at the, at the pictures, usually the bottom of the radiator is roughly at the top of the car on the ones that I've been uh, getting video of. So, I mean, that's off a little bit, but it's not bad. And like I said, it's not a big deal for me. And, uh, but these are nice cars. So I will start growing a freight train for that Williams set, that Pennsylvania uh, powered and dummy set that I got. And not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of them. Now I have the whole milk platform and everything. And this one looks to be both in good shape and complete. So this one might turn into an actual working car. And uh, now that ramp I ended up with got magnets up on top is designed to operate these to dump the coal out of those. But notice that they're smaller. But you know something? It's a two bottom versus a four bottom. And they were smaller. So, hmm, it's one of those, I don't know. Now, these all have the die cast trucks which I really like these guys right here you know they're very very light and they actually roll well for what they are they're not worth much of anything and uh, but what I find is they're good to lengthen out a train with because they don't weigh anything you get five or six of those at the end of the train just to get it to look longer that works okay now these are just simply too small I don't see where they fit on my my layout really. I've been getting rid of the these 027 boxes and this one probably will follow suit. It probably will go out the door. But uh, the rest of the stuff, hey, I'm pleasantly surprised with those passenger cars. You know, yet again, the build quality is a little bit better than I expected. Yeah, they're small, right? But so is the Alcos that pull them. So I finally have passenger cars that match those alcoves. So, so there's the haul, at least part of it. The rest of it I haven't cleaned up enough to feel comfortable putting it on camera just yet.
So a while the auction was pretty cool and yeah, I probably burned at least $20 too much. I got some rolling stock, kind of lengthen my trains like those three lightweight Lehigh Valley hoppers, right? And I think this was actually a good addition right here. Kind of an educational thing for me, both this and that car right there means I want more to match up with these guys. You know, but the real news for me on um, the layout for today is another box that showed up in the mail. And that's this one right here. And this was something I actually kind of wanted. And uh, been trying to get at for a while. Made in China. Passenger four car set in Reading. And that's to match up with that steam locomotive I got at the train show. So, and this is a full set. Streamliners. The Rail King is really 027. And it says die cast metal trucks, detailed plastic body, and illumination. So I think what we need to do is put together a train and see how they run, right? Boxes and all. Got the whole set for about a hundred bucks. Delivered. All right, so out of the boxes, one of the trucks was free. It's on this one here on the end. The screw from the top was out of it. There's nothing broken. It was just, uh, probably not assembled at the factory pro properly. I don't think these have ever been run. I don't see any sign that uh, they were ever run other than possibly testing. So they're like new in the box. And I'll tell you what, they're, they may be plastic, but they don't feel it. They feel you know, they almost feel like aluminum. Here, that coupler has to be. Here, let me shut the camera off. Well, there they are. I notice they've got the rubber boots at the end. Again, these are a cast metal of some kind. Um, although these are ABS plastic, they really do have a, a, a nice look and feel to them. MTH always does a good job. And there's decent detail. What I am curious about is whether or not I can get enough voltage to actually light these cars because I had found that with the uh, the New York Central set that uh, I had to get more voltage in order to have the lights turn on. So let's give it a shot and see if we can pull them with that Reading 8004 Lionel. No problem. Not bad, not bad. Now that goes back to this whole scale thing we've been talking about. They're actually a little bit large. 
relative to that 027 Lionel. It's kind of interesting. But I bet those would match up really nice with the other Lionel steam locomotive. That one right down there. Yet again, because most of the pictures I've seen, the uh, top of the car would be, I don't know, let me see if I can pull this back. Be split the difference between the top of that. Well, maybe level with the top of the tender instead of taller than the tender. So, but you know something? <laughs> don't matter. I now have a Reading Company train. So let me go take the uh, New York Central ones and put them on the bottom. So I think that worked out pretty well. I like the detail of these uh, MTH cars. The Rail King are the lower end of their line, not the premieres. Um, part of the decision for me is the, the layout and the curves. This is an 027 layout at a core. It's not an O scale layout, even if it has O gauge track. So those trains and cars that fit are the ones I'm kind of gravitating towards. I mean, we're going to have a couple of O-scale trains over time, but I'm just not going to rush into it. These do fine, and I enjoy them. This old thing, my God, that thing is as old as I am. Pulls those New York Central Madison-style passenger cars from MTH quite well. They have a similar construction, by the way. You know, of course they have more axles, they have one more axle per truck, but they're also die cast. And they also have the interior detail and lighting along with those rubber boots at the end, just like these do. And uh, that thing runs good. Again, that's a 90s era Lionel, it runs just fine. I find these interesting because I think I had mentioned one of my prior videos that that shell obviously is a derived from the tooling from the past. It's pretty much the same exact shell as my uh, 2055 has, right? You know, different coloring, different paint, a little bit different paint on the wheels, but there's a lot of similarities between those two. Obviously, it's got a different drive line.
but uh, we'll do a, re a review on these at some point, you know. But my first impression of these things is they're very nice. You know, they roll easy. They don't pull that hard. Um, let me see if I can move it along a little bit. You can see the detailing in there. Same, same detailing as on these. They have the same kind of uh, interior, interior uh, detail with the seats and the lighting and stuff. No peeps, no people in there. We may have to change that. I mean, what's the train for if it's not to move peeps around? So anyway, so that's my. Uh, layout update and this is the results of a ebay purchase and those cars that i had showed before were the result of a auction spasm <laughs> for lack of a better way of describing it so anyway talk to you later. yeah this is some more of the auction loot i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it of course the fast track I know what to do with this is the other 20 bucks right here that house it's got stuff inside I don't know what it does something to figure out you know a lot of this stuff just came in a pile they were just saying here take it and I don't know what the heck this is. It looks like a log loader of some kind. And then I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it looks like it's got magnets up there, so it must open up the coal cars or hoppers. And then, you know what's most important in here? It's buried, but there's trees. How can you have a logging operation with no trees? Well, it's going to be a busy moment. I'm going to miss one. But this one here was the one sitting down at uh, CP285. This one here is coming in a hurry.
Yeah, they're just crazy busy today, and I do believe this guy just fired up. 